Good afternoon all. I'm uh, enjoying a nice Romeo and Juliet White Churchill from 2012. Very nice. If you manage to get a Cuban cigar which has been well looked after and well aged, they are beyond compare if you get a good one. Anyway, to the matter at hand. Um, this morning I had a, a smoke in my Moretti bet freehand, um, which is this one here. A very, very nice pipe, very nicely stained, nice sandblast. Um, and I had some uh, McClellan's Kansas City Pipe Club chocolate silk, um, which I enjoyed the other day. I did a review. Um, you can see my first impressions on my channel. Um, so I did a picture on and it got a really nice reaction um, to this pipe. So I decided to go over some of my old uh, the videos that I used to watch of uh, Marco um, who is the carver at Moretti um, and he's got some videos on his YouTube channel which um, I really really enjoyed watching when I first was discovering pipes and pipe making. <coughs> um, but um, one of the comments which I made to, to one of the people that uh, commented on these uh, pipes was that, um, what did he say? He said something along the lines that these pipes are very very well made and very understated. Now <coughs> my interpretation of that, my response to him was yes his uh, pipes are very much unmistakable, you can recognize his uh, pipes anywhere. Um, they are very very well made um, but made with humility, that's how I interpreted it. And I'll explain to you what I mean by that. Um, I'm gonna, I've downloaded some of the videos that he's done and I'm gonna put them on here. If I, I'm gonna try and edit them into uh, some short clips, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because it will take too long. But just what I meant by with humility is as follows. If you watch some videos um, of other pipe carvers, nowadays the, the, the high tech tools that you can get, the, it's just fantastic. The, you know, the, the lathes that you can get and the machining, um, the tools, the drill bits, the guides, um, the, uh, the little tenon cut, um, knives or you know, the, uh, the little devices which cut the tenons and, and the mortises and so on. <coughs> If you're prepared to pay for it, if you're investing in, in pipe making tools and you're really going into it properly, you can get some fantastic stuff out there to make really, really precision pipes. But what really struck me and what I call made with humility is that Marco makes his pipes, um, I would say 80 or 90 percent of it by hand. Now what I mean by hand, all pipe carvers, the ones that, it's certainly the artisan pipe carvers, make them by hand. But what I mean by that is, is that he does it freehand. In other words, pipes which look like um, uh, non-freehand pipes, um, he makes them, he's so experienced, he's so adept with his hands, and he's so used to doing what he does, that he does um, a lot of the stuff by hand without guides, without drill bits, and without um, drill bits stuck onto a lathe. So to give you an example, I've got a couple of other um, Moretti's here just to show you. I've had more but I've passed them on. So take this pipe, I haven't actually smoked this one yet. Very nice um, pipe and a nice uh, go a golden contrast there. But when you see him carving, I'll show you a clip soon, when you see him carving he will... He starts with a block and um, with a uh, I think is it a bandsaw? He'll just literally carve roughly. He'll cut out the shape of the pipe that he wants after making a hand, um, you know, without any <laughs> rulers and uh, protractors and all that kind of thing. He he, he draws out, he, he traces out the shape of the pipe very very roughly, um, and then he ha carves it with he cuts it around it with a knife with a with a with a saw, um, and then uh, when he gets down to the drilling. So this particular hole, the, the bowl, he holds it by hand. So you've got the, um, the drill bit turning on the end of the lathe, but he will hold this. It will not be positioned in chucks. He will hold it and just literally 
um, feed it into the drill bit and get that done that way. And it's the same with uh, the draft hole. He he does make. I did notice that he does make the the uh, the mortise with a small little uh, drill bit. But it's a regular drill bit, which he's obviously measured out and got it to how he likes it. But when it comes to drilling, and again, he'll have his drill bit in the lathe and he will hand hold the pipe and feed it into the drill bit uh, until it goes to the to the necessary uh, length um, to reach the uh, bottom of the bowl. Um, and if you look at these, I don't know if you you won't be able to see it. It's too dark. I'll try and increase it. Just there you go. You see that there? It's bang on, absolutely bang on, and that's done by hand. You know the placement of that, the drilling of that, the dead center, and that's done by hand. And for me, that's such a traditional method of pipe making. I don't doubt that he could get all the machinery he wants to, but he uses quite a minimal machinery. His, sand, his, sand, his sanding discs are very rudimentary um, sanding discs which he folds over a piece of sandpaper over onto it and that's his sanding disc um, and, and you know many of the cars will do similar things but I just find that the way he does his work to be so simple traditional and he gets it right you know the the, the smoking on these is phenomenal um, the, the, the finish on them is fantastic um, let me look at that rustication very very good quality rustication very sort of consistent and um, when I say that you can recognize his pipes some of the things which um, you automatically notice is the wooden briar dot there on the side but also when he finishes his bowls you'll see that in one of the videos I'll put it on is that he, he then tapers down inwards the the top rim and that the way he does it is a very telltale kind of sign of his pipes well, I must say this one hasn't really got it it's probably because it's because it's, it's quite a small pipe but you can see it on this one as well even though this is a rusticated one or sandblasted one you've got that little lip which he does also with a a uh, sanding disc so I'm gonna put some clips in there now and um, we'll see you after this.
So I hope you uh, liked those videos. Um, I certainly felt very inspired when I saw them, um, and it really, at the time, what made me want to try and try my hand at just playing around with uh, um, carvings and pipes. But anyway, um, the point of this really is: is if you're in the market for a pipe and you want to get an artisan pipe, but one made in the really finest traditions of pipe making, you really can't go wrong. His briar is also very good quality briar. Um, his briar is always a minimum of 10 years old so it will have dried out, lost the moisture and so on um, the best way to buy a pipe of his is on eBay um, I think it's eBay, I think it's called uh, um, if you just do search on pipe Moretti you'll see other people selling his pipes but scroll down until you see one um, where I think it's called Bima B I M A something. Let me just check that. Actually, I should have checked that beforehand. Yeah. So his um, his username on eBay is Bima B I M A B I M for mother A one nine six zero. If you do a search on that Bima one nine six zero, you will come across. He's always got some pipes up for sale. Some of them are buy it now. Some of them on auction. He has pipes ranging from about a hundred or so dollars, all the way up to a couple of thousand dollars. So there's always something for everybody. He's the nicest person to communicate with by email or via eBay. Most polite, a fantastic person, ready to help. Um, and he's just a great guy to work with. He'll also do a, um, a custom order as well, which I have talked to him about in the past as well. So um, I'm not here in any way, shape or form as an agent of his or anything like that. I'm just a... Uh, I just got inspired to do this once um, when I saw the feedback from the pictures that I posted on Facebook um, of this uh, pipe this morning, so there you go. So I just thought I'd talk about him and big him up because his work is fantastic. So I hope that's been of interest and if you want to see his videos just um, search Pipe Moretti on YouTube you'll see uh, he's got 10 videos up for making a pipe from beginning to end, uh, a freehand pipe. Um, actually a, a similar shape pipe to this but bigger. Um, 
and it, it's entertaining it's really nice if you're into pipes so enjoy catch you on the next one